This stupid motherfucking device. I don't know what's wrong with this. Acting all certain ways. I don't know what that ticking thing is. I wish I could show you guys what exactly that is on my screen. Anyway, so look at right. Have you guys notice how strong Paris nor paranormal Paris social relationships are on line anymore not just youtube but pretty much everywhere right like everything's a following everybody has a following everybody is in a tribe a, a tribe people are listening to people but there's nothing wrong with it. there's nothing wrong with that But it's... <laughs> Hello? You can get up here, but I'm not moving back. Come on. Move my knife for you. Here, I don't speak. Oh, yeah. This is my most recent. I just finished it. I don't like the flowers, though, but it's on, like, shit paper. Come on, baby. Come on. If you, like, I'm not moving. I'm sitting right here. I've been right here. I just got here. I love you. You're not going to win this one, sir. He's sitting here and he wants in front. <clears throat> Come here. Come on. Come on. And since you want to, like, be here so badly, hmm? you know, you feel better now. I'll lose my phone on it down this bed. Hmm. You feel better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. These are good babies. He's gotten to this point now where he's in this habit where he will not let me sit on the edge and record. He wants to be right in front of me because he knows I'm gonna be right here. Not moving anything so he has the right to sit right here in front of me. I love my child. He's so clingy. Here's my baby. Yeah, is that okay? You can get your neck scratched, okay. He's such a good boy. He's purring super hard. Anyway, it just seems like there's a lot of tribalism going around with people. And, I, and I'm not a fan of tribalism. The parasocial relationships are, are are tribalism in itself. There are so many people not just dependent on the creator. Because we're all users, right? Content creators, people who watch us, uh, people who just get on and like, like be talking shit while staring through the bushes. You know, like we're all on here as, as users, but some users are um, capable of entertaining the mass of users, or whatever term, massive users. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and when this happens, it seems as though like it, it's it, it's kind of a transference kind of thing. Like the people are addicted to the creator, but the creator is also addicted to what they get from the users, right? There are so many people online right now who have made it their. Um, Livelihood, which is nothing wrong with that, um, through the internet, like selling things or whatever, or creating an audience to listen to them rant to shit. Often, like I do, but they actually put prices on it or they monetize shit more than I do, which is like you know, like it's fine or whatever. Um, but once you get so far in the parasocial relationship, it's kind of hard to like veer and do different things, you know. Because a lot of times, if you're not someone who keeps a certain, like, border, wait, boundary with your audience, um, you kind of get sucked into this whole thing where, um, you, they feed you into bullshit. Like, they got Christian Rock for a second, right? Christian Rock was an athlete. And then all of a sudden she decided to be a homewrecker and try to take a man from a 10 year relationship. Still is trying to this day. Um, but the longer she's been on the internet, the more you see her um, streaming, the more you see her just still doing silly shit. You see her pandering to her audience. You see her whining and then whining in an annoying voice and getting to know people who are just going to cause her to be doing ignorant shit. Every time she meets somebody new or something, they're trying to get her drunk because they know that they can get viral off of her 
acting an ass. And then she wants to get online after she acts an ass to talk about why she acts an ass, which is technically their fault, but really it's her own fault. Um, she's kind of spiraling. Uh, Cardi B, for example. Cardi B keeps having, having a man who she wanted to cheat, cheat on her. Because she literally said she didn't want a faithful guy, and I don't know why she's upset. But then again, it also looks like some whole uh, publicity stunt, because like I think they both had albums coming out or some shit. Um, Doja Cat. Uh, honestly, Doja Cat isn't even worth the conversation, because she's kind of boring to me. Like, she's really boring. It's just like, oh, look, she's dressed up like a demon. Hmm. Oh, she's feeding so hard into this, um... Ooh, evil shit. That, that's great. That's great. Just keep, it, keep feed into it so your soul gets sucked out further. It's cool. It's cool. No one really, nobody cares. I don't care, anyway. Hmm. <sighs> but, um... You can see all these people who are celebrities, and you don't even have to look at celebrities. You can look at athletes as well. Like, look at what happened to Jonathan Majors. Has a whole slew of people behind him, and yet it wasn't enough for his tribe to be with him. The prosecutor still prosecuted him. Then there's the opposite effect, where someone like Desi Smollett, someone who nobody wants in their tribe, and yet almost got away with faking an ass beating. Because of some prosecutor is crazy. Huh. Now let me tell you this much, right? For the most part, I feel good on your face. Yeah, it does. For the most part, there's nothing wrong with tribalism when it comes to like the group effort of trying to survive, you know. But when it comes to more like beneficial or I individualistic senses, such as uh, security, where are we gonna eat? getting along with people, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. That'll be actually heavily more difficult, um, if you ask me. Especially for extroverts. You know, if your person goes out of your house, it might be a little bit hotter. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because, like, currently everybody's, like, getting pushed or being forced to, um, basically revert back to, like, um, an original fractural code, I believe. I, I honestly believe that, like, at this point, everyone's, like, kind of getting herded back in. Like, they're not, it's not, like, a coaxing thing as much. Because everyone keeps saying, like, oh, they're trying to divide us or some shit. And it's just, like, a motherfucker. No, they're not. They're just showing up with the insecurities we all already had about each other. It's just to, like, the media... And the propaganda to point out that we're all insecure by each other and we really all don't really like each other as much as we all pretend we do. You know? <sighs> Everyone usually tends to end up dividing themselves up. An entity doesn't need to do that at all. All you have to do is put out certain information. People will look at it or listen to it and they'll decide for themselves if they want to be divided or if they want to be accepting. <laughs> You know, once again, like that one dude who, uh, was mean to me for no reason. He's going off on me because, like, uh, what the fuck was it? Oh, the Montgomery, uh, brawl. The Montgomery River Road brawl. I was celebrating that shit, and I had every damn right to celebrate that shit. Who wouldn't celebrate watching a bunch of people who were beating up an old man? Get their asses whipped after that old man brought that fucking boat in and released and he grows. I'm just saying, like, you don't get to see something like that historically recorded. And for the fact that, like, most people in, in, in like, the news media really weren't trying to report that shit, but I got reported later on because it was such a big deal. That was wonders, you know, like, of all the things that they didn't report, they didn't want to report that one. They really didn't. Um, you know, that person really wasn't into what I was saying. Very upset about it and went out of their way to be extra hostile. For no fucking reason. Um, believing that, like, my whole, um, position was simply just one of tribalism based on my demograph, 
which was just like, you know, one of those weird things where it's just like, weren't you telling me about your people? And what they went through, bro, but it, but it's not cool for me. And it was one of those things where it was just like, he kind of separated himself from me on the basis of what he thought I should be paying attention to. Or maybe it was because I was putting up so much bullshit in order to like weed out what the fuck the problem actually was. And then the problem wanted to say I was the one in the wrong. And I'm still fucking confused about that. But that's really none of my business, honestly. It's not even my problem. Um, the point is, is like, it wasn't even something that, like, I wasn't even necessarily doing. It was just, like, this dude ended up deciding for himself to divide us. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't doing anything at all. I was just minding my fucking business. And that's normally what happens. People tend to take up their own ideas and divide themselves from other folk, depending on how those other folk deal with shit, you know, um, I'm very certain when Hitler was talking about, um, the Jews, the Protestants, and the goddamn Catholics, there weren't a lot of people trying to be around them folk, I'm pretty sure all it said was a little bit of words, and like, people created their own hexes, they created their own curses, they created their own issues and problems and all of that shit. <clears throat> because most people tend to get really involved and very emotional in stuff that they either like, choose to be have pride in, or really, really believe in. Like, you know, religion is a good example of that, but religion is one of the weakest things you can use as an example of, um, well, why one stands so strong on the hill that they're prepared to die on. Religion is just an aspect of one's already uh, made up belief from their experiences, their own life, and what knowledge they obtained and the information they've managed to remember and recall at times, right? Uh, a really hard thing to break of a person is their belief, which is completely different from fucking religion. Religion just gives somebody a good framework, a paradigm to put their belief in. But a person's natural life the paradigm belief system is something that is completely unshakable and is only um, changeable to, to the person who wants to change or if they find information that causes them to change. That's a completely different realm. And most people don't fucking change. Most people, like 90% of people don't change unless something completely dramatic and dramatic and life altering um, happens to them most people don't change. Most people will stay the same the majority of their life. Uh, but if something traumatic happens, mm -mm, that is not that person is no longer who you thought they was. What's up here? Like, do I have another shirt underneath here? Because I need to turn that heat off. It is what? Well, it's 47, so I'm not turning the heat off now. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Y'all want to say, go say, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Y'all want to say, go say, fuck that. Fuck that, fuck that. Aw, oh, look at you. Just roll all the way back over just so I can pet that neck, huh? Mm-hmm. And mind you, it's no fault of his own that, you know, like, he did what most people do and decide that they're going to pick a side when no one said there was a side to pick to begin with. As with most people, no one gives anybody an option, you know. When you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And that's why choices are fucking bullshit. Choices really don't matter um, at the end of the day. You know, because it doesn't matter how you get to where you're going. You know, like you either um, choose to eat like a cheese quesadilla or you can have that fiery Dorito nacho from Taco Bell. Either way, you're being on the toilet for at least a good three hours after you devour all that. Whichever one, just so happens the cheese quesadilla is a little easier to digest than that Dorito one, especially near the age of 40, right? Uh, now, this all goes in point. It doesn't matter what choices is present to someone. There doesn't even have to appear to be any choices at all. Most human beings, most people, will just leap to whatever choice, um pops in their head. They will lead to the nearest conclusion um, they can come to. Most people do not act. They react. 
And the problem is, is that when you react, that's a good chance to to get yourself hurt or if, or unalived if you're not fucking careful. What I find in life is most people don't want to admit that the choices they make aren't important. Aren't, aren't important. I don't know what's wrong with my accent today. I don't even know who says important. What the fuck accent? Important? Sounds like some Bugs Bunny shit. Or something from New Jersey. I'm not sure. But uh, the thing is, most people um, don't realize the choices aren't important in themselves. It's which choice you make. And most choices you make are ones that you make, that you find along the way. Um, you didn't even know you were going to eat ta Taco Bell. You just decided you were going to go for a drive in your car. And you only decided to take a drive in your car because you were restless and you didn't know what to do. Uh, you could have went back to sleep for a little bit, but you still would have woken up and still not had anything to do, so you probably still would have gone out. You could have gone to any restaurant possible. It just so happened you just had just enough to get to the first restaurant you can get to, and that happened to be talked about. And yeah, you could have got the gas last night, but the gas station is past the Taco Bell, so... Either you would have got it last night or you would have got it today. Either way, your ass is on that toilet for a few goddamn hours. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Like a sling blade. Yeah. Mm hmm. Purr your little heart away. Purr your little heart away. My child is so adorable. I love him. For the most part, choices are just things that we create for ourselves. And people, I don't think, realize that. So when it comes to tribalism, it's just like... When most people are surrounded by a similar scenario, like let's say someone went and stole from a bank or whatever, and you're in, in like just a group setting, like most people in that group setting, they might delegate about it, but nine times out of ten, you're probably going to just hang someone from a fucking tree. They don't have to be black. You're just going to hang them from the tree. Because that's what you do with these, right? You, you hang them from a tree for thieving and shit. Um, it's going to be very hard to find somebody who says, like, no, we should actually put this person up on trial and actually try to get them to listen and understand what they did was wrong. No, we're fucking this one. Uh, I want to I wanna see his eyeballs pop out of his head like we did Ted. Fuck Ted. Cow fucker ass. Like, like just weird shit like that, right? When it comes to tribalism, everybody wants to, um, I feel as though make the right choice in this shit. When the choice was never, like, it, like you know, you don't have to be part of a tribe. People will convince you you gotta be part of something, and, I, and that's, <clears throat> that is just some extrovert shit. If I, I, like, I don't have to be part of anything. I don't even want to be part of like, the human fucking species yet. Here I am. Here I am. All because someone was like, ah, 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 and all of a sudden I'm here. It's just like, I, <laughs> I didn't know what dumb here to pay taxes. And apparently that's exactly what the fuck I'm here for. And it's sad. I'd say that's the only time one. Day. Well, I don't know. Cause you could choose not to be bored before you get here. I'm totally under the impression that we choose to come here. I just think it, like they tell us there's cake here. I just don't think they told us it was sugar free. That's what I really think it is. Like yeah, there's cake, but it's good for you. How is it good for me? It's Vegemite. What? Like what the fuck is Vegemite? It's some Australian shit. But everything in Australia will kill you. You know, like and then you're just sitting here delegating shit. And if you haven't noticed with the whole um, algorithm in dealing with YouTube, um, it's no longer working the way it used to. It's reverted all the way back to the way it was back in 2000, uh, I want to say 2009, it seems like. Because it doesn't seem like views matter. It doesn't seem like even people who are subscribed to you matter. I don't think that shit matters at all anymore. 
Uh, I think we were all fooling ourselves for a time when we thought it mattered. I honestly think it was a big ass experiment to see what exactly they could do, how they coax people, seeing how people react to shit. Like, like for example, you ever notice that every time that there's something that crazy that happens in, on YouTube, it's because of people like talking about it so much. Have you ever noticed that YouTube has this tendency to, like, uh, take things away from people, but it's normally not anything that, um, people use? Like, the response system that used to be on YouTube years ago, for anyone who doesn't know, you actually could respond directly to a person by, like, having the URL to their video, um... If it's like the old up uploads, like YouTube have a whole different upload system than it does now. Um, it works really good now. But when it when it first came out, it was terrible. But the old old YouTube system that used to be there, oh my god, that shit was so fucking simple. It was so much of a dream. You didn't have to worry too much about checks. You weren't required to make sure that kids didn't watch your shit because they actually listened to you and you said it's not for kids. They didn't even ask you it was for kids because back in the day, YouTube was literally for people who were over eighteen, and then they lowered it to thirteen. And then all of a sudden it's YouTube Kids, and I'm not supposed to say, even though I'm literally, like, only talking to adults. And if your kid's in the room, why are, why are, tell your kids to get the fuck out. I'll tell your kids to get out if you want me to. Kids, get out. Go. Eat your dad's food. Mother, suck your dad dad's dick so, like, well, not your dad, but their dad. Suck his dick so he don't get mad at the kids for eating shit. And then everyone will be happy. No, the kids don't have to listen to me. He'll be occupied. And you can hear this bullshit as much as you like. It's perfect. Chef's kiss. Um, but yeah, the old easy system. There was actually this part where you could actually put in that you were replying to or responding to someone else's video. And there actually used to be this thing where you could actually add the URL to it in. And in the, your video, it, what, I don't know if it was in the description or not. I don't think, it might have been. But I almost want to think it was a whole separate section. Like, it was there, and then the description, and then comments at some point. But, um, and the comments are completely different now, too. Like, if you go on YouTube through Facebook, that's actually how the comments used to be. If you go looking on there, how it looks on a Facebook thing, would you go through there on your mobile phone? That's how YouTube actually used to be. And Facebook hasn't updated that, but then, but you can actually look and see how YouTube's comments and shit actually used to be set up that way. Because you, you, Facebook hasn't updated that through their app, but that's okay. Um, which is crazy because this is like old Reddit. It's just like, how is this, how is old versions of YouTube still existing if, this is the new YouTube, unless it's like those buildings where they built shit on top of it. But that would definitely be some big old shit, and I'm not even getting into that today. Um. <clears throat> oh yeah, but that's how YouTube's comments used to be. But I, but like you could actually see where a person was responding to that video right there. You could even click on it to listen to what the fuck they have to say about it. And it was only like maybe like one or two percent of the people on YouTube actually use that system. Majority of users didn't. Majority of users um, actually went out of their way to uh, what was it? They um, mo the majority of you of content creators, the users on YouTube, were just making their shit. They weren't interested in like really arguing with people. They weren't interested in reply shit um, and all of that nonsense. And mind you, that thing had been, like, and, like, you know, this is, like, this has to have been after they, uh, Google went and bought YouTube and you had to have a, a Google account, which I thought was bullshit. Like, I had my YouTube account before I ever had a YouTube, or, wait, no, I had my YouTube account before I ever had a Google account, and I had to make a Google account, um, because that was the only way I could get back into my account of YouTube. And then Google Plus came. Which, that, right, Google Plus, there used to be, oh my god, I, don't, I totally forgot about that. On uh, Google Plus, they used to have communities on there, and they were horrible. Oh my god. I joined this one group called What If. 
And I thought it was just like, oh, okay, I, I, so what if, I'm just making up whatever. And the first thing I said was, what if cats, like, knock over stuff because they like seeing us bent over? But the next one I said, what if we're all stardust and we're just reliving out our shine through these flesh bodies and that's why we're the way we is? Or something like that. And this dude came up and said, like, whoa, 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 you're being a little fanciful. That sounds like some religious shit. None of that makes any sense. Stars are gaseous things and all this shit, right? I got into two people about, like, the whole thing about, uh... What the fuck do they call it? At one point, like, like I, I had issues with the atheists for a minute, but that's because I don't mind arguing with them, because it's just like, your points don't make any sense. at all like it was like you know it, 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 i was getting to the point where it's just like someone was trying to explain disbelief as the opposite of belief and like i was just like no the opposite of belief is doubt like like that doesn't make like that doesn't make any sense like why would disbelief we be the opposite of belief if doubt is the opposite of belief and like if you believe something that means that like you think it's real if you doubt it, that means you're you're suspicious as fuck, and that makes way more sense. Or another weird thing, what they would say is, um, I, there was an argument I had with one dude, and he kept telling me that like not believing in the god isn't a belief, and I was just like, but you believe that there's no god, so it's still a belief. Thank you, phone. And he got so mad at me for saying it. He's like, he's like, no, that's not what it is. And I was just like, you're literally saying what I just said. And I got thrown out of that very, rather quickly because, like, you know, and people would argue and I, I, stuff I would say. It's just like, okay, first off, I wasn't even talking. I remember this one time in the group, right? <laughs> I, I went out of my way to, to be like, you know what? Atheists complained a lot about what Christians, like, it put on billboards and shit, and then I see atheist shit on a billboard, and I guess I'm not supposed to judge that, right? And so I was like, well, not all atheists, you say exactly who it is, blah, 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 it's just like, oh, so now you know how black people feel all of a sudden, okay. Now he's saying, you, you, you know, okay, that's great. Like, I'm, I'm happy for you, you know? And, like, but I didn't last very long in any of those groups. Apparently, dissenting is not cool. I remember one time, what was it, uh, Atheist Plus on their Facebook page. I remember them wa watching them, like, go in on this chick who was Muslim, who was trying to argue from her standpoint, and they kept telling her, like, well, how can you be Muslim with all these people doing these attacks? It's completely inconsiderate of you to be Muslim and not condone what these people do, which I thought was the weirdest thing to fucking say. Like, you know how many white people don't want to be, like, lumped together with slave owners and shit? But I saw many of them try to lump this Muslim shit with a bunch of terrorist motherfuckers. And I'm just looking back like, what the fuck did you just say to that one? You know, I mean, sitting there all confused. It's just like, how are you going to do what you don't want done to you to somebody just because they're not part of your group? And that's something that I don't really adhere to when it comes to tribalism either. It's just like when it comes to group settings, when it comes to a group of people, um, most are usually vicious to outsiders. Most don't give outsiders a chance to do something. Most people are, 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 are fucking crazy. And most people find people who are crazy just like them to stick together. Because that's kind of one of the many ways that people have survived so far. You know, like survival of the fittest. Yeah. Mm. Sleepy times. And I think the worst part about the whole tribalism thing to me, or this, uh, what it literally is, is about parasocial relationships, but it's literally the same thing to me. I think what bothers me the most about, um, the majority of, um, what goes on with folk, right? Because, like, most people, when they get into groups, when they get into parasocial relationships, when they get into all of this, um... Needing for validation or to validate somebody. Because most people will worship content creators like they're fucking God. 
Um, which if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But you might want to find out what God they're following before you go that far, right? Uh, you start looking at folk like it's television and not like, like you know, it's a literal thing. But, that, but that's a discussion for another day. Um, I find the most that like once people get into the scenario where they're completely into the tribe, the parasocial relationship, the connection in itself, um, they're not letting it go. It, 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 it is like an abused partner fighting the cops after they call to get the partner to stop choking them the fuck out. This is the sixth time in a row, and, and I just want to breathe one day without you just, like, all over me. Like, that'd be nice. I, I would just want to breathe. Make the <coughs> sound. Like, it's sexy. No, I don't want to. Well, that's Dave that. You know, like, just weird shit like that. Uh, it gets a chokehold on you, and it sucks your life away, whether you realize it or not. And most people don't, which, it, it, which that's not a slight to anybody at all. It's going to come off that way. Um, but it, it, I'm not trying to make it a slight. What I'm trying to say is you have to be pretty diligent and pay a lot of attention. Uh, you can't let people just suck you in. To whatever they think, whatever they believe. Um, if you want to just keep following people, that's fine. But you need to pay attention to them, the way they act and behave. You know, a person who thinks you can get all your answers and information from them is probably a person who either studied it enough to where, like, they can make it sound like they're the ones who know what they know. Or they're leading you somewhere you don't need to go to, but you're going to follow them anyway because you like their personality. Mm. You like how the words come out of their mouth. You like how they can gather people and have great discussions and delve into things that like seem so important and so vital and they are such an integral part. But that integral part is like, mm. What is that integral part that draws you back into them that you can't do for yourself? You know, because at that point, I would start questioning free will. <laughs> at that point, you know, if I had ever get sucked into a cult, because I find cults absolutely just the most intriguing thing. Like the Mama Max cult thing that he's got going on. If you know nothing about that and you have time to kill and you just want to find a rabbit hole to dive into, you can look up the Mama Max thing. Because, um... It's literally been three years in the making, and as soon as I heard the word cult, I was all perking ears, and then it was like, oh my god, no, I, got, I have to sleep, I have to take a shower. I don't have time to be watching, like, all of this, especially since most of it are repeats. But if you really want to get, get a good analysis of it, go to a dude named Chud Logic, or even a Dead Wayne Dork, because they'll go over it. But... And that's actually a good example of what happens when you get sucked into, like, some parasocial tribalism shit, right? But a lot of people just seem to have forgotten a lot about themselves. A lot of people have, um... Well, they're a lot more, but still, a lot of people are going to be going through some shit where it's just like, um... Well, they will definitely appear as the copied tomatoes as they are. Because, you know, like, uh, we were looking at, what, fractal DNA? Um, questioning what we may... How would you be able to go backwards? You know, could you go backwards? And I believe that you can if you break down DNA to its most uh, reduced form. To the way it was prior. Which is what I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of. And I don't know if anything I said made any sense. Because honestly, like, I'm like... Is that... That is the biggest piece of lint in my hair. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, I didn't even see that. Like, where did the fuck did you come from? <sighs> Long hair is nice, but it gets so annoying once it's just getting caught in the shit. And I gotta put it up. Or else I'm, somebody's gonna, like, be like... Ah! Chicks. I've done that to myself twice. Oh my god. The other day I had my hair out and I went to like go close the door on a freezer or something because I was getting like one of those frozen things. I wanted like that turkey loaf because it's really good. And it doesn't taste like the chicken. 
I don't know if I mentioned this in this, but you know, like every time I've been eating chicken, like a chicken sandwich or like some form of processed chicken, it, it, it's like. It's almost, I, I, like, they are super hard pieces. Like, am I the only, like, I don't know if I'm the only one who's ever noticed I would chicken, but it's like, it makes me feel like I'm eating the cancer. But I can't remember if I already mentioned this before or not, but it's just like, it's something I've been thinking of a lot. Because, like, I literally ate, like, some wings. Tasted perfectly fine. Uh, today, I, I someone got me a chicken sandwich, and I bit into it, and it was hard. Hard, and I'm a and like every and every time I do that, my I'm immediately like I it's like no hesitation, like at all. It's like it's something where it's like oh I can probably chew through this. It's probably just burnt up. No, it's like I, as soon as I bite into it, it's almost like my body's telling me don't digest that. Like, it feels like I'm biting into cancer, and if I bite into the cancer, I'm going to get cancer. And I don't want cancer. Like, that chicken from my own body trying to destroy me, not like a fucking piece of chicken. That is so... rude. And inconsiderate. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But, like, I don't... Everything's getting, like... It's like everything is getting muddier together, but it's like, it's intricate parts of history that are getting strung together. Because I've already said before that uh, we're in a really weird time frame where we're like behind but ahead. It, like, it's like we're too, f it's like, there. It, it's, it's almost like everyone's trying, it's like we're being convinced that we're at this time frame. But I don't know why, but I feel like it's only November. You know what I mean? It feels like November. Even with all the snow, it feels like fucking November. It doesn't feel like January going on in February at all. Um, and it's like the time is just weird and it's like everything's getting like pushed to look forward. But it's really almost like we keep going backwards. And I'm almost 100% certain if I go look on my Stellarium app, the my, the plan, the, the sun's gonna either sit in Capricorn or it's just coming out of Sagittarius. I don't know which one it is. I ain't even had the heart to look because it, it, it literally does not concern me. But in any regard, you know, like that's just what I got for that. So I'm sorry for rambling. I don't even know if what I said made sense. It's just been something that's been bothering me for a while, but I just haven't been able to put it into words because I don't think I would have worded it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that to your ear, my bad, man. I just haven't been able to put it into words without actually having to spill it out, but it's just one of those things where it's just like... Everyone needs to start being careful who they listen to. And I know I'm definitely going to ruffle some feathers with this one. But, um... All those evil eyes, all them beads, all them whatever, all them people who are doing them charms and wands and all this shit. Everybody's in, kind of like in the spiritual. Thank you, sir. Uh, the sort of spiritual community of sorts or whatever. I don't know why you moved or you're just going to sit there and whine. You're literally just up here and now you're acting like, you're not paying attention to me. I'm sorry I was doing something. What? Yeah, you're sleepy. It's only eight fifteen though. Hmm. Poor baby. Being all silly. Yeah. We'll do something. I'll miss you. Yeah. So I don't know if anything I just said makes any sense. You'll have to tell me. I might listen. I might not. I have really no idea. We'll figure it out, though, together. I promise. Um, but just, uh, like, we need, like, everyone needs to be a little bit more diligent to what they're listening to. Because I, I, I really feel like, like, the whole thing where I was talking about 
why I'm kind of veered away from the tarot shit, that spirit thing that I kept pulling up. Um, the one from the king and Daniel. When Daniel was like, hey, da 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 da, this thing might be lying here. I, I, I just feel like it's going to venture forth more. Because it's not just affecting Tara Land, it's not just affecting the spiritual community, it's affecting everybody. Here. But I'm not sure where the here is they're referencing. Either way, <clears throat> I don't know, just be careful because just because people are saying what you want to hear or they're feeding your biases does not mean that you shouldn't like sit there and like at least exercise some discernment to see if anything they say could be possibly wrong. I'm not saying agree with them. I'm saying sit there and be like, okay, how could they possibly wrong be wrong in this scenario of what I'm thinking of? There's nothing wrong with sitting there asking questions like you're doing uh, active reading and taking down notes and listening to shit or whatever. What is a problem is just taking everything at face value just because you like a person. Yeah, I, I, I like you know there are people who don't like me who still venture to my shit and still listen to shit I say and then run away and like make it sound like their own and which is perfectly fine because you know at least someone found some use for what I said. <clears throat> I'm fine with that, but um, everything else you know is just is subject to the beholder. Uh, it's not my eye observing. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Mhm. Mm Hear me. Okay, you're ignoring me. Okay, well, we're going to bed as soon as I lay down. But I'll talk to you guys later. Be safe. Stay suspicious. Love your face. Bye-bye.